thank you so much for tuning back into the channel and if you're new thank you so much for watching um subscribe if you're new uh, let's leave a comment and see how this video goes so manuel pellegrini the former real madrid manchester city malaga villarreal and hebe china fortune manager has been announced by west ham as their new manager so the statement reads west ham united are delighted to confirm that the appointment of manuel pellegrini as the club's new first team manager he is a premier league winner champions league semi-finalist and signed a massive three-year deal at the london stadium after leaving heavy china fortune Joint manager David Sullivan has said, I am delighted to welcome Manuel Pellegrini to West Ham United. He is one of the world's most respected football coaches and we look forward to working with him. It was important that we appointed someone with knowledge and experience of the Premier League, which he definitely has, who already has an understanding not of only the players, but the teams we face, but of West Ham and our ambitions. Manuel brings a reputation for attacking football, getting the best out of his players. We believe he will attract new talent to the London Stadium, as well as improving the current squad. He goes on to say, above all, he is a winner who knows what it takes to succeed at the highest level. He is driven to continue that success. He is the first ever manager of West Ham that has a Premier League title on his CV. We believe his experience, quality and proven track record will be able to take this club. We have listened to the fans who asked us to be ambitious. We hope they agree with this appointment. Manuel will be shortly announcing his uh, backroom staff. Chilean Pellegrini returns to England just two years after leaving Manchester City where he enjoys the fifth highest win percentage in Premier League history during his three years in charge. He laid the foundations for a stunning success subsequently enjoyed under Pep Guardiola. Interesting. Having signed the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Raheem Sterling and Nicholas Otamendi. In his magnificent debut campaign, campaign, Pellegrini led City to the Premier League glory, becoming the first coach outside of Europe to win the title and also the League Cup in the same season. City finished the campaign with 151 goals, which is still an English record. Interesting. Pellegrini won the League Cup in his final season at Manchester before making way for Pep Guardiola in the summer of 2016. Pellegrini has been in charge of Chinese Super League heavy China Fortune, but has recently stated this was the strong motivation uh, to return to the Premier League basically because that league is money motivated it, it, it is what it is it is what it is and there is nothing wrong with how it is but that is exactly how it is so he is 64 now um, obviously as Previously stated, he has been at Manchester City. He has been at Real Madrid. So, as a manager, he has won the Serie A in not in Italy, uh, but in Ecuador. He has won the Primera Division in Argentina twice. He has won the UEFA Intertoto Cup with Villarreal, Premier League. And two football league cups. In his time at Villarreal, he won 123 games out of 259. He was there for a massive five seasons. He spent a year at Real Madrid, where he had an incredible 75% win ratio, finished on 96 points. Uh, but Pep Guardiola tipped him to the title, finished on 99 points with. Barcelona. Balaga, he spent three years there before becoming Manchester City manager where he had a 60% win ratio 
winning two League Cups and a Premier League. So he plays a nice style of football. He plays a nice brand of football. He's won several things. And that is key. That's what West Ham want. They want to be ambitious. They want to win trophies that they never won before which is a massive deal to West Ham they've gone nearly 40 years without anything it's a very ambitious appointment they wanted ambition um, and that's exactly what they got they have got ambition because he has been so successful he is a former Premier League winner. He is a former Real Madrid manager. You can't get much better than him if you're West Ham. You can. He's absolutely fantastic for what they need. Hopefully he does very well for West Ham. He left. Uh, I think his contract ran out. And that's why he left. And Pep Guardiola came in. And that season they got to the semi-final of the Champions League. So they have been very successful at um, at Manchester City. Um, it'll be interesting to see where he goes from here. He should be able to get best out of some players. But the important thing here is that they back him. If they can back him, he will be able to bring quality to the squad and really push them up the table. But if they don't back him, then they'll be mid-table in a similar situation than they were before. So, it's all about backing him here. I think they will back him. It is important to back him. So we can get the best out of these players. West Ham have not had a good season for... Uh, two seasons they've been very poor at both London Stadium um, campaigns but if he can get the best out of the players and uh, then the London Stadium won't feel so bad they, if they're playing attractive football if the fans are fully behind them if they're beating you know, teams left right and centre then that would sort things out a little bit if you're a bad owner People don't really talk about it if you're doing well. They only talk about it if you're not doing well. And I think with the right additions to the side, it could really unite the West Ham fans, board, players and backroom staff. Which is absolutely important and vital at this point after two seasons of turmoil at the London Stadium. So thank you so much for watching. Um, what do you think of the appointment? Is it a good appointment or are you sceptical? Tell me down below. I am Mike. I do so much content uh, throughout the week, so check that out if you're new. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Mike and I will see you soon. Goodbye.